Do you think that there is time in the year ahead, by the end of this calendar year, to do a proper comprehensive agreement covering all aspects of trade, security and the rest of it? There is time if we are consistent, if we go quickly to the reason, to the rationality. If we stay at the level of politics, of symbols, of things which are not at the heart of the negotiation, then there is a risk. But what I want to tell you is that we will not exchange trade-off substance for calendar. If we need six more months, we as Europeans, we are very clear that we want a good deal, a fair deal, a deal that can last for many generations to come, and we will not sign for the sake of having a deal, you know, the deal that we managed to have at 11 p.m. on the 31st of December. It would make no sense. The, the trouble with that, respectfully, Minister, is that the EU, like the UK, signed up to that date in international law. That is the date both sides agreed, and Britain certainly has said that that is a hard deadline. Yes, I understand. It's also a date that can be extended in international law, we provided a, a, a way. But you don't expect Boris Johnson to extend. I mean, Boris Johnson is talking about walking away from the negotiations if there isn't substantive progress by June. What I know, and I go back to my passion and reason, I think it would be very difficult for people to understand that we did not protect them as much as we could have done just because we wanted to stick to a date while we had the opportunity to be extending the delays for negotiation for more six months more, 12 months more, if we, if we need so. I'm not telling you this is what we want. I'm telling you that at the end, what matters is the content, is the substance of the deal.